All right, welcome back to Concordia. I believe it was Jen's turn, and I just realized I was a dummy. She had enough money. She did not have to use her Tribune to reset her deck because I was thinking about doing the, the food plus the wine, but she could have done these two foods or these two foods, and she would have had enough money for that already. But oh well, more money's never a bad thing, but that was maybe kind of a wasteful turn to spend a whole turn just to get two bucks. Ah, anyway, okay, so it's Jen's turn. She's reset her deck, so she's gonna start moving out now with her architect card. There we go. All right, move her colonist up to two spaces and then build in adjacent cities. So now she could go here, 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 or here, here. And you know where she lands determines what she can build. And originally I was thinking she'd do this because she'd have access to these two things. But now I'm thinking she should do this. She'll be able to build both of these foods. Remember, she benefits from having a lot of food. And she will be in two, she'll have a house in two different regions. Because remember, there are bonus points to be had the more provinces you're in at the end of the game. So, you know, having both of these is nice, it's two food, but it's only in one region. So it's, in, you know, I've, I control Corsica, I control Liguria, so it's harder for Jen to get into those zones, but by the same token, I'm denying myself of having spread to more zones. But on the flip side, I was able to build four in a very short time period, whereas if I was trying to spread across zones, it would take me longer. Anyway, though, lots of strategy, lots of tactics. Jen's gonna move her guy here, though, and build in Campania and Umbria in these two food generating places. So she's moved and now she's gonna build here and here. And that for each um, food city, that requires a brick of food and two bucks. So there's a brick and a food, here's a brick and a food, and here's four bucks in total. And like I said, she should have done this sooner. I was a dummy. Anyway, though, so she has now taken those. She has, oh, it's an interesting thing too. The nice thing about being here is when I activate Corsica, both these. When I activate Liguria, both of these produce for me. If Jen activates Campania or Umbria, only one of her cities. So there's, a, there's an upside to spreading out, bonus points at the end. There's an upside to consolidating resource generation early in the game. <laughs> so many things. But anyway, that was Jen's turn. She used her architect and she is finally on the board. All right, and I could predict, based on that, that it's probably it won't be too long before she plays her farmer card so that she will get production out of both of those farms. We'll worry about it in a second. My turn, let's see, and so I've already moved and I've done my prefect. Let's see, so now I could generate some more, I have another prefect, so I could, I've already generated in Ligveria, I could generate in Corsica and get some more stuff, but I'm running out of space. I think it's time to use some of these goods. I think it's time for me to get some cards like Jen has. I have waited long enough. So I am gonna play, where is he? Mr. Senator, there he is. All right, so I'm playing the Senator. Purchase up to two personalities. Now right off the bat, I know for a fact, I definitely wanna get this Mercator, and that costs one cloth and one wine. So there we go, there's the cloth and the wine. And now the reason I wanna grab him is, well one, he's great, all these are great. We started with a Mercator that only gives three. This is an upgraded Mercator that gives five. So this is a much better source of money. I still get to trade, but the important thing is, he's got the brown ability, and in, in a two player game, only two um, brown cards will ever come up. So I've just gotten 50%. I'm well on my way. If I can get the other brown card when it comes out, I will be in a position to score a lot of extra points based on production. And since I'm spreading out really far, I could do pretty well on that. So anyway, that goes in my hand. And now I gotta buy one more. And I could afford just about anything. I can't afford these, because I don't have two cloth. So let's try and get something a little bit cheaper. Hmm. And you know, and the things I'm thinking about, what ability do I want, and what in-game scoring bonus do I want based on Severnius or Jupiter? Ju okay, if I'm gonna just keep in one of these, I'm gonna go and try and go cheap. Jupiter is the one that the more Jupiter cards I have, the more points I'll have for any non-brick city. Half of the cities I've built are bricks. And bricks are nice, because they're so cheap to build into. Maybe, I'll, and let's see, and there's still one, two, three, four, uh, there's still four more places in the world to build bricks. Five. So maybe I don't want to double down on Jupiter because I want to build into brick cities more because with broad bricks, you can't build more cities. So I think I won't go for the architect, which means I'll go for one of these um, Saturn ones, which means you get bonus points for spreading in provinces more. So that means I'm going to want to try and start spreading out, maybe start spreading out and hitting all these other bricks that are in all the other provinces. So if I'm going to do that, I got to ask myself, Am I better off getting the Diplomat, which will let me copy Jen more often uh, with her special abilities, or am I better off getting the Prefect, which will give me another opportunity to generate goods? 
Let's see. And the other thing, this means I'll have to pay a wine and a, and a wild card, or this one is a tool and a wild card. I've got both a wine and a tool. But the interesting thing is, I can generate wine. Currently, I cannot generate tools. So since I'm better off generating wine, I think I'm going to buy the prefect. That'll let me copy Jen. So as she gets more powerful, I'll indirectly get more powerful. It gives me more flexibility. And this cost me a... Wait, what was, it was in this spot. So it cost me a wine and something else. That goes into my deck. I pay a wine. And I guess I could pay my last brick, but I need that for building. <sighs> oh, brick is the lowest cost thing, but it's also the most important if you want to build a lot. So I don't want to give up this brick. Cloth is the most valuable thing, though. Oh, I got to think about where's the next place I'm going to build. Am I more likely to build in a cloth or a tool generating place? This guy can't build anywhere. If I start moving him out, see, there's cloth and tool. Like if I moved him over here, I could do cloth and well, I could do both of them. Ah! So many things. Now, if I really want to focus on bricks, though, if I want to start building more in brick towns, that's the interesting thing. Building in a brick town is the only place where it doesn't require bricks to build because there's bricks on site. So if the next build I'm going to try and do is I'm going to move a colonist somewhere where I could build more bricks. There's this one, which require one, two, three movement. This one, which require one, two, three movement. So I can't get to any of them in two. Oh, wait, what about my ship? My ship could go one. No, it's, there's another brick, but it's way far away. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Still trying to figure out what resource should I... And, you know, this game is just full of these kinds of nail-biting tough decisions. Well, let's see. Since I can generate cloth and I can't generate tools, as crazy as it is, cloth is so expensive, my wild card is I'm going to play a cloth to get that... What was it? Oh, I already took it. The prefix. So I paid a wine and a cloth to get that prefix. But that's okay because I can generate more cloth. All right, and that's what I have left over. So that was me, that was my center, and now everything gets cheaper. New stuff comes out. Uh, oh, the other colonist card, ah. Remember, Jen has, there's only two of these. Jen has one, if she gets the others, she will have cornered the market on Mars. So I wanna buy this if I can. I don't want, but she wants to too. There's a race to get this thing. But right now it's expensive. A food, a cloth, and something else. That's expensive. And then another Mercator, the other Mercator. Ah. Oh. If I could get both those cards, I could totally have the majority of both of those in-game scoring things. But they're both crazy expensive. But anyway, that was my turn. Jen's turn now. She has finally gotten out in the world. And it might be time for her to generate some goods. She might be time for her to play her... Where is it? Her... Oh, farmer. She could play her farmer, which would let her produce food, so she'd be able to produce two food. And the nice thing is about these specialized ones, um, it only produces for her. It wouldn't produce for me at all. This is only going to get her two food, though. Maybe she wants to wait a little bit. You know, get, her, get another farm. There's two more before she makes a move. But again, both of these farms are in the same region. And if she wants to try and get points at the end of the game for being in lots of different regions, which is the... Saturn, maybe she wants to hold off that. But she has no resources. Now, she has no money. So she wants to generate, and then she could sell some of her food, because food sells at four pop, so she could buy some more stuff to expand. Or, hmm, so many things. Oh my goodness. Well, she definitely needs some money. So I think right now, she might do her colonist just to get some more cash. Or she should do her colonist to actually... Hmm. Oh my gosh. I think she wants more cash, so she'll be able to buy more stuff. So she's going to play her colonist, and that's five bucks plus one per colonist. So again, that's seven bucks. Five, six, seven. And once again, she doesn't want to do it because she's just giving me money as well, but I'm going to play my diplomat and copy her again. Five, six, seven. So that was easy for me. All right, but now she's got more money. Which means she could do uh, her merchant and buy some more goods that would let her recruit somebody. Because remember, we're in a race now. I see, she, she wanted to get that colonist before I could do it. She needs a food and a wild card. So she, all, all she has is wine. She needs a food and a cloth. That would cost her 11, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. She does not have enough. And me, I do. So if we're going to race for that, she's got to figure she can't get to it now because I'm in a better situation than her monetarily. Okay, well, she's going to go on ahead and activate her farms then. Well, and, we'll just, and she'll just see what happens. Farm, activate two, so she gets two food. Okay. All right. 
And uh, now it's my turn again. I've got another diplomat, but I'm not going to copy your farmer because I have no farms. Let's see. So I'm going to continue trying to get those. Let's see. And so I need food, cloth, and a wild card, which I have none of those things. So I'm going to go on ahead and do a prefect and generate some of those things. I'm going to activate... Oh, but I can't activate Leveria again because I've already done it. So I could activate Corsica, which will give me wine and bricks. But that's not what I need. Oh, wait, no. One of them does need wine? Yeah, the Mercator needs wine and needs a lot of cloth. Oh. Okay, wow. So actually, I, I, I kind of miscalculated. This is going to be tough for both of us to be able to get those things. But, okay. So I can't generate cloth, but I could generate this and get some more stuff. Yeah, with that, I'm going to generate, I'm going to activate, I'm going to generate, activate Corsica. So that means I get a wine for flipping this. Okay. And I get another wine and a brick. So I've got a bunch of resources now. I'm starting to fill up again. All right, Jen's turn. Let's see. Now, oh, interesting. So we got, she's in camp, uh, camp, Campania, which produces, and she's in Umbria. What's Umbria produce? Umbria is the purple one, produces wine. Okay, I think she's gonna do a prefect. And she's gonna do it. No, is she? Huh. Wine, cloth, cloth. Yeah, she is. Okay. She's going to do the prefect. She could either do it to get money. And since there's two cards, things slipped, she could get three bucks, but she's not going to do that. She's going to activate a region. She's going to activate Umbria, where she is. And so that means, where's Umbria again? It was, it's the purple one. Purple, I'm blind. All right, here it is. So she gets to flip this, which means she gets a wine. And she reveals a double coin. And she's in Umbria, and where Hadria is, so she gets another food for having activated that. And now here's the interesting thing. Haven't used it yet, but now, whenever she can, she has to. She will also use the Prefectus Magnus card, which gives her a bonus on what she got up there. And then this goes to me, so I'll have it in the future. And I'm kind of bummed because I've used all my Prefect cards, so I won't be able to use that for a while. But anyway, so what that means is, when you use the Prefect Magnus card, remember, Jen activated Umbria, which gave her a wine. When she activated, she used a prefect magnus. So that gave her two wine. So she has now a lot of food and a lot of wine. Okay. So that was her turn. My turn again. And unfortunately, perfect timing for her. She gave this to me after I've done all my production. So I can't get the bonus until I reset my deck. So I'm going to have to hold on to that for a while. But let's see. Uh, so I've still got my two mercators. Oh, no. I do have a prefect. So I could... Um, Ah, interesting. All right. Oh, that's interesting. Let's see. Wait. So I'm still just trying to race to get over there to the colonists. I need food, cloth, and something. And I have none of those things. Or I need wine and double cloth. And I have none of those. So I've got a wine. I need double cloth. So if I went to the merchant right now, I could... Ah. Oh. oh, yes. Okay. I'm going to do a prefect again. I'm prefecting and prefecting again. I'm going to generate goods. And that means I'm going to use the Prefect. I'm not going to generate money. I'm going to use the Prefect Magnus. So it goes right back to Jen. I'm going to activate Sicily. Why? Because Sicily, even though nobody is in it, so none of, no, none of these spaces these will generate, still, I will get one cloth for activating Sicily. And because I use the Magnus card, the Jen had just given me, the, the Prefectus Magnus, I doubled it, so I got two cloth. Two cloth and a wine is what I need for that Mercator over there. Nice. Okay. And now, um, although I don't have my Senator, I'm going to have to reset my deck to get my Senator out so I could buy one of those cards. Anyway, Jen saw that I did that. She can see I can afford the Mercator now, um, but I can't afford the Colonist. So maybe she wants to double down on trying to get the Colonist. She's got the food. She just needs one cloth, and she could get that Colonist. Hmm. So I think... Yeah, I think she is going to, what's she going to do? If she uses her Mercator, she could get some more money, which is less important, but she could buy some goods. Could she actually get enough to buy the colonist? Now she, to get both of these, she needs two cloth. That is 14 bucks. That's way too expensive. She's not going to be able to get 14 bucks. Well, actually, wait a minute, is she? If she sold all of her food, that would be 12 bucks. And she's already sitting at six, seven, eight, nine. So she'd have 19 bucks. So she sold all her food, which she doesn't need to buy this. Oh, wait, no, no, but she does need it to buy that. She needs food and wine. So she can sell two food 
And then she'd still have, and that would give her eight bucks, which would give her enough to buy the two, so she could buy that Mercator before I do. Because she still has her Senator card. She hasn't used it yet. What the heck? She's going to get that Mercator. That's what she is doubling down on. So she is going to do a, where is it? Merchant. So she immediately gets three bucks. One, two, three. And now she can trade, buy or sell, in two types of goods. For starters, she will sell. She's selling food. Right? She's selling two of these. That gives her eight more bucks. That gives her a pretty ten. Right, and now she could buy. She, she's done. She could sell her last suit, but she's not doing that. She's saving that because hopefully she'll get this colonist too. But now she's going to buy. She's going to buy cloth. And let's see, cloth costs seven a pop. She needs two to get that Mercator. So that's one, two. So that's 14 bucks. Um, there we go. And now she could buy another cloth. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, she just needs one. If she had one more buck, she could buy another cloth. And then she'd be set up to get both of those. She needs one more dollar. Ah! Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, okay. That was her move though. She got her money. She sold to make. And then next turn, she'll be able to use her senator to get the Mercator. But if she had one more dollar, just one more dollar, she could have bought what, just one more cloth. Oh, that's heartbreaking. <sighs> Interestingly, she could have waited. She could have done a prefect to get a bunch of money and then done the merchant, and then she would have had enough. But was there enough time? Because she can see I'm coming up, but I have to reset my deck to get my senator card out before I can buy anything. So that means if she'd waited, I would have reset. She would have done the merchant. I would have bought. So it wouldn't have been enough time anyway. All right, anyway. So that's what Jen's done. Just one more dollar. All right, my turn. Um, right, I've got two Mercators. But I just want to get to buying as fast as I can. So I'm going to Tribune again. So I'm going to get my uh, Senator card back. Right, so I've got, and I, so I'll get some money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So three minus seven is four. I, I, so I get four bucks. So remember, it's in excess of three. So I just made four bucks for waiting so long to use my Tribune. And I also, if I want to, could trade in a tool and a food to get a, a colonist. Unfortunately, I have no food. I'm really not playing very smart, but say lobby. All right, so I got all my money. Next turn, I will be able to recruit one of those guys. Jen's turn, she will be able to do it now. She's gonna do the sender. She's gonna pay her two cloth. Wait, wait, wait. Could she wait? Let's think about this. Because she can look at what I can do. She can see that I, can, I could buy the Mercator. So you know, she has to do it now. She's gonna play her senator, pay two cloth, and a wine and get the Mercator. So now we're split 50-50. Uh, she prevented me from getting the maturity of the Mercu Mercutius, Mercu Mercurius God. Well played, honey. And she's still got a lot of money. All right, so now it's, oh, and then a new thing comes out. It's another prefect, all right. And now it's my turn and all that for nothing can I buy the other one, the colonist I wanted? I need food, cloth, and something. I have no food. And I have no way to generate food. That's not true. I could use a prefect and activate. Well, I don't want to activate Campania because that means it'll give Jen stuff. This is the only way I can get food right now. Either that or I can use the merchant and buy food. How far away is Jen from this? She's got the food. She just needs a cloth. So, could she get a cloth? Yes, she could. Because... Yep. Wow. Okay. So I know that she could sell one of these wines and that would give her enough money to buy the other cloth and then the food plus the cloth plus the other wine, she could get that colonist. There's nothing. I cannot beat her at this. She is going to get that card if she wants it. So I just got to walk away from that race. I got to find some other use for all these goods. Okay. Shoot. So that means Jen gets the majority in two of the gods. That's not good. Well, I just got to focus on what I'm good at then. Let's get back to doing what I do best. I got a bunch of stuff here. I need to start spreading out and start building more towns because I've got two bricks. That means I could build two towns someplace. Um, and I got a lot of money to do it with as well. So where am I gonna build? Well, let's see. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and play the card. Architect, I get to move and I only get to move twice. I haven't, I still haven't gotten any columns out. Now I need some food. This is a couple times now where I was like, oh, if I only had some food. So I'm gonna move someplace and I'm gonna get into some food. And at the same time, I'm gonna try and block Jen. So that means I probably want to build here or here in the ones that she's close to. And either way, building in either of these will get me in another province, which scores me more points at the end. I think I'm going to go 
one, two, so I can move off in this direction and try and head her off at the pass. Because by the way, here's where three of the bricks are and I'm hoping to grab all of those. Okay, so I moved here and now that means, oh, but see, that means I could only build in this or this and it would cost me a lot to build into that zone. If I came up here, one, two, I could build into both of these and I wouldn't have to pay the premium to build into a space that Jen already has. Plus, I would mean it would be Jen, it would be tough for her to get in there. But then I'm not heading in the direction I wanted to head. But it's not like heading off here isn't bad either. And I could, well, so, oh, but that's the problem. Hold on a second, hold on a second. I don't have food. To build in a food city, I need food. I don't have food, I have to get food. Urgh. All right, so I need to get food before I can get food. So instead of architect, am I gonna prefect to get food or am I gonna buy some? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna merchant. I have two merchant cards now. So where are they? In my deck, here he is. I'll use my new one that is, gives me five bucks. I'm gonna play merchant, five bucks, and I get to trade two goods. I'm gonna buy some food, but I only have space for one, so I need to sell some stuff first. Which I gotta think about, what do I not need to hold on to? Right, if I'm gonna try and come over here, I need mean, food and wine, so I definitely wanna hold on to one of the wines. I could sell both these cloth and make a lot of money. Let's do that, I'm gonna sell both these cloth. I'm gonna sell cloth, that makes me 14 bucks. Because I made the big rush to try and get the cloth, but then Jen beat me to the punch anyway, so I'm just gonna sell the cloth and make a ton of cash. I am rich, rich I tell you, look at all that money. And every 10 bucks is worth a point at the end of the game. All right, so I sold, and now I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy some food so that I can make some food. All right, and food costs four, so I guess I'll buy one, two, what the hell, I'll buy three. No, I'll just buy two. And that cost me eight. So here goes my tenor, and gives me um, a one and a one. I need to change these into fives or something. One, two, three, four, five, into a, there we go. Let's change this into a 10. I'm still rich, look at all that money, wow. Alrighty, so I bought two food. And now the reason I didn't buy three food, I'm figuring I wanna have one food to get into this city. I wanna have a food so I can make a colonist as well. You know, the next time I do a tribute card. Um, or maybe when Jen does her colonist card. So, um, one food is for getting in that city, the other food is for mixing with my tool to get a colonist. So these two things go together to get into a city. These two things, although they have to stay in their own spaces, go together, and then I've got this other stuff, so maybe I'll build a wine town too, because that's where, okay. So that's pretty nice, I'm happy with that. All right, that was my turn. Jen's turn. She still, she needs to raise, I mean, she can't rest on her laurels. If she wants to get this, she needs to make a move. She's got the, she's got the food she needs, she's got the wild card, she just needs a, what's it? What do you call it? Uh, a cloth, how could she get it? She doesn't have a merchant, so she's gonna have to prefect. She is gonna prefect, which means she can activate one region. And I think that means she is gonna activate, the only way to get cloth is to activate um, et, etruvia. So that means she gets one cloth, and since she has the prefect magna, she has to give it back to me, she gets two cloth. All right, so that was her turn. Very nice, she's gonna get that colonist. In the meantime, I'm just gonna try and get real work done. All right, so now I will bring out my architect. This is much easier with two hands, as you might imagine. All right, I bring out my architect, moving colonist, bingo bongo, and I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build um, over here, and I'm gonna build over here, and see how much does that cost? I, I, whatever it is, I'm sure I've got it. Uh, building in a, that cost me two, plus four, that cost me six bucks. There we go. All right, so all that stuff goes away. I've got two more. Now unfortunately, that means I'm only, I didn't spread into more provinces, which is important, but whenever I activate Umbria, I get two goods, whereas Jen only gets one. So if Jen ever activates Umbria, or I ever, you know, so there's still a benefit for activating Umbria right now, so that's pretty cool. Boom, and I've still got a ton of money. Jen's turn again. Now, ah, she needs to use her Senator card to recruit that last. Her Senator card is not up. But she can see I've walked away, so now she is not in any rush. So I think she's gonna wait a little bit longer before she resets her deck to get her Senator card. She's gonna try and do some other stuff instead. Uh, the Mercator, this brand new Mercator she just got to get some more money. Or the Diplomat. Does she wanna copy me? I think so. I, she's already used her movement. She's gonna use her Diplomat to copy my Architect and move around a little bit and start spreading um, out into the world. Because she's got enough, oh wait, no, I remember, she, what's she saving? She's saving, the, this and this, 
and this. These three things are for recruiting that guy. So, oh, she doesn't have bricks. Without bricks, she can't build any place. So does she really want to move when she won't be able to build? Or does she want to wait till she gets some... Yeah, with that, she's going to do her Mercator instead. First off, she gets five bucks because it's a nice one. And then she can buy or sell. She needs to buy some bricks so she can build. So I think, does she want to be able to build in a cloth or a wine space after she moves? Here's a wine. Where's any cloth? Is there any cloth close to her? One, two. Or no, 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 no. When she does her tribute, she's going to want to take advantage of the fact that she's going to want to be able to get a colonist. So, I think all, she's not going to sell anything. She made her money, and now she's going to buy a food, and a, which costs her four, and a tools, which costs her five. So that's nine. One, two, three. So that almost breaks her again. Yep, one, two, three, four. So she's buying that and that. All right. So those are for the purposes of when she does do her Tribune, she'll finally get a third colonist on the board, which is important to her because she gets more points than me off of colonists. All right, so that was her move. My move. All right, so I've architected. I still got a bunch of stuff to do, and I'm just losing track of what I need to do. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Now, Jen just mercatored. I still have my diplomat. Do I want to get a... Do I want to copy her? Well, I can see she's about done. So I think I will. I will Diplomat, since he used her nice Mercator card, I'm going to Diplomat to copy her Mercator, which means I'll get five bucks, and then I'll get to buy and sell some stuff. Right. Now this was so that I'd be able to, when I tribute, I'd be able to get a what's it. So this says off here, this, what am I thinking about next? I've already got one wine. Do I want to start thinking about who else I might hire up here? Ah, another Prefect. It's very expensive though. And none of these guys down here want wine. So I think I just want to start thinking about expanding again, uh, which means I'm going to want to... Oh, wow, I've got three prefects? I've got three... Yeah, right, because I ordered... And that's the other thing, too. Maybe I do want to think about... Because if I look at my strengths, I've got three of these yellow cards, which means spreading into more provinces. I just want to keep spreading into provinces. All right, so this guy, I guess he's going to move over here now, which means he could go one, two, and that means I'd be able to build in both of these provinces. That's a wine. So I'm doing the Mercator. I'm just buying some bricks. So first of all, I'm going to buy, let's buy two bricks at three bucks a piece. So that's six bucks. That's my first. And now am I going to buy something or sell something? This is for that. I'm going to buy something else. If I come over here into this space, I'm going to buy another tool. I'm going to buy a tool for five bucks. All right. So that means when I next architect, I'll be able to build both of these. And I could build more. I mean, two is, I mean, I've got much more to spend. But I'll just stop right there and save that money for later in case I need it. All right, so that was me. I diplomated Jen's Mercator. Now, Jen, she cannot diplomat my diplomat. You can't do that, so she has no choice. Her deck is over. It's time to Tribune. How many months did she get? She gets one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine minus Three is six, so she has made six bucks by not tributing sooner, so that's nice. And she gets all her cards back, and remember, I haven't done it before, but she's finally going to do it. In addition, you can build one colonist in Rome for a food and, and, here we go, here's the food and the tools. So she has gotten, she can either be a land-based or a sea-based, so she's got to think about where does she want to spread. Does she want to get another, she hasn't even moved her boat, so to heck with that. She's not going to get another boat. She's going to get another land-based guy. Now he stands there. He still has to be moved out. But now, every time Jen does Architect, she has three points to spread, to spend moving around. And so that was that. And now, it's my turn again. Right, I was going to move. Oh, but I've already used my Architect. So, now do I want to go on ahead and reset my deck? No, I think I want to keep going. If Jen uses her Architect pretty soon, I could copy, because I've still got... Uh, or do I? Do I have another deck? I've forgotten what I have. Okay, what do I have? I've got three prefects, which is resource generating, a tribune, which is resetting, a senator, which is buying cards, and a mercator, which is buying selling. So I can't spread right now. Maybe I should tribune as well. Um, or, well, I've got a bunch of resources. Well, no, this was for my tribune, so I can get another colonist. This is for when I move. So I've got all these set up. I don't... Uh, I could generate some more goods. But I've only got two spaces to put them. But maybe I should. Or, oh, I know what I'm doing. I am in a prefect. 
So I haven't, I don't know if I, yeah, Den, Den did this once at the beginning. Remember, when you prefect, I can either generate goods in all the places, or I could generate money. I'm gonna do the money thing. That means I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just made eight bucks. Was that right? Wow. Ah. Yeah, I think so. I think it was eight. And now all those provinces can generate again. And I just made eight bucks. That's pretty nice. Can't believe I let that sit that there that long. So I'm rolling in dough again. And now it's Jen's turn. And I am going, or she is going to architect. Right? No, she's not. What was she gonna? Oh, right. She's finally gonna get that other card. So she is going to Senator. Here we go. Hello, Senator. So Although, let's see, these were the three she needed for that colonist, but she's got two left over. Should she buy something else? A wine? Nope. Maybe she wants to wait a little bit and get some more goods. Yeah, she's gonna do the farmer, which means all of her food will produce, so she will get two farms, two more food. All right, so these will be over here. Okay, because then she could get um, either of these cards when she does the senator next turn. All righty. My turn again. Uh, I, I could still prefect, I could generate some more goods, but I got no space for them, there's no money to be had. Tribune, Senator. No, I'm saying, all right, so it's, yeah, I'm in a Tribune now. So, one. Ah, I'm just gonna put the camera down, this is just too hard to count these cards. One, two, three, four, five. Only two bucks bonus. But that's okay, because I'm rolling in dough anyway. So I'm just Tribuning, and while I'm doing it, I'm getting my colonist. And I think I do want a boat. No, I do want a guy, because I'm gonna head east and west. Okay, so there, right now it's Jen's turn again. Finally, Senator time. She is gonna get the other super card. She has the Monopoly on Mars. And this costs her a cloth, a food, and something else. Cloth, food, and she wanna give it that wine or another food. Food, if wine is more valuable. Yeah, with that, she'll give up one of these foods. Right, that was her first, but she can get another one. She has another food, so does she want... <sighs> now this is a mason, will it let you produce on your bricks? She has none. But if I get this, this is really nice for me, because I could, because I have several brick places, but she's gonna let it go. I think she's gonna take the diplomat, and so she can copy me more. And that costs her, oh no, this costs her tools. And that costs her tools, she doesn't have tools. Oh, well, okay, she will take the mason, solely to ensure that I don't get it. And now she's got a little side project. She wants to get some brick spaces of her own. So this costs her a food and a wild card, and it'll be a food and a wine. All right, and I'm very sad, because I was hoping she would leave that alone, because I was gonna try and go heavy into bricks. But now there's now she's got that, it's less important for me to do so. My turn! All right, so I've reset. And right, so I'm gonna start spreading out, which means I am gonna architect. Oh goodness, there we go. Hello. First of all, I move my column. I can move three spaces now. Let's get this um, Jamoke out there. One, no, he can't go far enough. So, one, two. That was what I wanted, right? Yep, one, two. And I have another space. I have three to spend, so I spent two on that. And I will, should I have my boat start moving back since I've, he's done all he can do over here. Well, I could put my boat here and then I could get this cloth space. And, and that would get me into this, that's pretty nice because I'll be able to get into that zone. Okay, so I've done that and now I'm gonna build. Oh, if I don't, if I had one more brick and one more cloth, I could build three, but ah well, I didn't look ahead far enough. So I'm gonna pay all these resources to build in these two towns and get into two more provinces and see how much money it's a tool and a wine that's three and four so that's seven bucks five six seven and i've still got tons of cash and i have just gotten into two more provinces i've got two more resources actually am i generating all the resources now i've got i produce wine and tools and food and bricks and yep i now produce all five resources so every mercanius i get Gives me 10 points, but remember, Jen beat me, she got the other one. Arr. All right, anyway though, so that was my architect move. Jen's move, okay, what's she gonna do? She has hardly spread out into the world at all. She really needs to start doing that, but right now she has no bricks. And remember, she wants to get bricks, 
so that she can make, she might start heading this way and get these two bricks because now she gets bonus points for brick producing places because she got that mason. So I think that's her plan now. So she's gonna to need to move somebody like over to here so she can build both these bricks. But to do that, she's gonna to need to, no, no, that's the thing. Building in a brick town only requires food. She needs food. She just used her farmer and got rid of all her food. She needs more food. Ah, okay. I'm exhausted. I think I'm gonna stop there, particularly because my camera says I'm gonna, the battery's gonna go dead in four minutes. But anyway, as you can see, from now on, Jen, she's gonna move over here. She's gonna try and get bricks because she has that bonus, um, but she needs to get bricks. You know, she doesn't need to get bricks. She just, you know, she has the money. She needs to get some more food. She's used her farm to be able to do that. She could activate Campania though, which would generate um, one, two food for her. That would be the food she'd need to be able to build in these two spaces. So that's probably two turns. First, she'll do a prefect to generate in Campania. Then she'll do architect move over here and um, build those two things. And then beyond that, uh, maybe she'll generate some stuff. She's starting to spread out. Now the game ends when either all of these cards have been bought or somebody has built all of their houses. So the game right now is probably about halfway through. I've got a minute, I've got, oh, I'm running out of time. So I'm gonna stop right there and let you guys go to final thoughts. Um, but you can see, we're only halfway through. The game's just gonna continue to escalate. Money's gonna get bigger, resources are gonna get bigger. We're gonna get more colonists on the board, which gives us more opportunity to move around really fast, uh, which gives us more space to store stuff so we can make big moves. But the game end can come very quick if somebody makes a big push to try and buy these last things or makes a big push to build a lot. Um, but anyway, that's it. I'm wasted. I'm just gonna let you guys go to final thoughts in five, four, three, two, one.